so good. Just don't make movies like that anymore. Right? Like, why does every movie now have to mean something? Why can't we just enjoy a movie about a guy trying to get back to his family and kicking and punching and impaling and exploding some bad guys to do it? It was just a different time then. You know, your movie could just be rad. It didn't have to be about anything. When was it made? 96, came out in 97. Damn, con air. Con fing air. Huh. What's up? Nothing. It's just, uh, 1996 was an election year. It was after Clinton's first term. You don't think that means anything. Eh, it's probably nothing. Okay. You don't think it means anything, right? No. It's just Jerry Bruckheimer's a pretty outspoken conservative. And this movie is about punching people on planes. Well, Cameron Poe, he's military. That's sort of a conservative thing. Well, yeah, at, at the beginning, right? But then he becomes a convict for... Killing, killing. a guy yeah. for threatening his pregnant wife and ripping the stripes right off of Poe's uniform before saying, Pussies like you, we lost Vietnam. Okay, all right. It's pro-military, but I mean, most action movies are. That doesn't mean that it's right-wing propaganda. I mean, Bruckheimer is not a subtle guy, right? So if he was going to make a conservative movie, right, he would like 100% put in some heavy-handed metaphors, like how if all the people on the plane were not- no! The convicts! Why are you acting like you just now remember that there are convicts in the movie Con Air? No, each one of the convicts. Diamond Dog is a black militant who hates the NRA and spends his time in prison writing a New York Times bestseller about the woeful state of civil rights in America. And he's one of the main bad guys. He's black America. Okay, fine. Or did Johnny 23. A Mexican immigrant who doesn't respect U.S. laws. He's immigration. Sally can't dance. Ah, uh, is an outspoken and proud homosexual! Pinball is a drug addict, the prevalence of drugs in the African-American community. Billy Bedlam is about the dissolving of the nuclear family. He kills his wife's parents and Cyrus is Cyrus, Cyrus the, the virus. virus! He's a bilingual intellectual with a doctorate who gets along great with the minorities. Holy shit, Cyrus is the manifestation of the liberal masses. This is bad, Katie, this is like... This is so bad. He's so nice to Sally Can't Dance. All the convicts are, with the exception of Poe. Poe is the only one who assaults him, and we're supposed to cheer. Oh! Okay, I'm falling down the rabbit hole. Whoa. Put the bunny back in the box. I said, put the bunny back in the box. All right, there are pros on that plane, just as there are cons. I mean, did you see? Yeah, yeah, no, I get it. Like You're right. There's a female prison guard. Good. Who has the audacity to join the workforce in a traditionally male role and almost immediately fails so spectacularly that the worst convicts in the world get to hijack a plane. There's also a secret DEA agent. Yeah, an incompetent representative of the government who accidentally gives the terrorist a gun. Baby O, oh, maybe, Poe's diabetic friend. Okay, yeah, you mean Uncle Tom? The one good African-American who knows his place? Oh my God, we've been so blind. At the beginning of the movie, John Cusack quotes Dostoevsky and says, The degree of civilization in a society can be judged by observing its prisoners. That's the thesis for the whole movie! The plane is a microcosm of the entire country, and each criminal represents a different aspect of modern liberal America that Poe, a good old boy with a folksy draw and juiced up on conservative values, has to destroy one by one. It's a propaganda film. This is where 1996 Bruckheimer thought America was headed. No. No? What do you mean, no? No, it is much worse than that. That is where he thinks we are, right? Conair touches down three times in the movie, right? And each time, America is this Mad Max wasteland. The first time is in the windswept, militarized Carson City. The second time is in that weird junkyard where that filthy little girl is having a tea party in an empty pool. And the third time is when the plane crash lands into... Las Vegas. Sin City, the one place where you can crash a plane into a bunch of civilians and no one cares about it. But Cyrus and the rest of the mini bosses, they get away. They blend into the crowd, even though they did so by stealing a fire truck. Because Cyrus the virus doesn't have to blend into society. Mm -hmm. Everybody's already infected. He is society. And then Poe chases Cyrus and then he crashes his truck and then Cyrus gets his intellectual brain smashed in by this machine that, well, I don't know what it does, honestly. Just some bullshit they built. The kind of bullshit we used to build in this country. Holy shit. Favorite movie is social conservative revenge porn. That is such a bummer. So, what is Steve Buscemi then? I, I, it's just like a raper. I, I think that's it. But he, he got away at the end. Yeah, well, he doesn't attack that little girl. It's like a retribution. He gets a pass. He wore a girl's head as a hat. That's the last little girl. Con air. Con fucking air.
Hi everyone, thanks for watching that video. I'm Soren Bowie, I'm the managing editor at Cracked. Managing editor is sort of a misnomer because I do a lot of other things. In fact, it's kind of a dumb, blasé title. What I'd really like you to do is go into the comments and ignore everything that you just watched and only comment on what you think my new title should be. Uh, nice things, preferably. Uh, you, could, you can go lowbrow though, I don't mind.